Bro, I think I've been sleeping on Nagi just a bit. He was introduced as a genius prodigy. Why did I forget? Did you see the move at the end that he did where he sliced the ball midair, looked like he was kicking, didn't do anything, and then he went for a second clutch kick? Holy shit, he actually broke my brain as he broke my computer. Now, we're gonna probably win this match, but who are we gonna pick? Do you think that we could pick Rin over Bachira? Couldn't that be the craziest twist? Let's begin today's reaction. Yep. Yep. That shit was nuts. That shit was nuts. Actually outplayed him there. And like the craziest thing, it's not even Nagi's talent. It's that he's been playing for like a couple months, dude. What? You telling me that was mid? Yeah. Are you telling me that was mid? Okay, Mr. Glasses. What? What? Nagi. Bar will never get in with the celebrations ever, dude. He's so tsundere, man. Oh. Nice to see him acknowledge that he needs to beat him himself. He can't just rely on Nagi like that. Bachira. Oh, he's getting all excited. His heart's going all doki doki. Because <laughs> remember, he wants to pick between Rin and Isagi, right? Oh. Bust a gut. <laughs> I almost said that as bust a nut to keep up with me. I'm so immature. Oh, he actually passed. The fuck? Dude, if he's a scary gorilla, what are you, man? Like, you're in a physical contest. I still think he beats Baro. I don't know. He's just like a tank. Damn. What a pass. What? Damn, that's some next level passing, man. Yeah, in a physical contest, man. Baro can't beat him. Pass. Sheesh. Pass. Give him the ball. Cut him off, though, if you can read it. Immediately? Mr. Glam's reach. Unless this is another fake on it's Bachira instead. <laughs> that tests my limits. Let me just like narrate and commentate my entire situation while it's testing my limits. I love sports anime, man. <laughs> Dude, like, <laughs> shit's happening in like fractions of a second, but they take like five minutes to explain like what's going on. <laughs> and sometimes they'll have like a flashback between the plate too. <laughs> I don't know, what will he do? Probably something crazy. That's a shot. No? True, he did make us out that one time. Ooh. But because he's expecting a faint, he'll do something different! <laughs> this Rin guy, man. Risagi's there. I bet Rin saw this too. I bet he saw this, man. Bro, see? He's two steps forward! That was like a back... I don't even know how he passed like that. He did like a Maradona crossover and then he like caught the ball between his back and like fucking passed it back. It was all bait. He read that shit. Oh my god. It's a, it's a, it's a new effect we're seeing. This puppet master string like effect that Rin has on each character. Is he serious though? The Puppet Master. That's his nickname, huh? <laughs> oh shit! We're an NPC now. It's fine. NPC calls an NPC whatever. Baro's called as a donkey multiple times. Doesn't hurt me. I still don't think he's going serious, though. I still don't think he's going serious. But it's cool that it's like <laughs> no high five. <laughs> no, <Nope>, so cold. <laughs> he too? Bro, come on! He's so mean. He's so weird. I want to. I want to call him, like uh, for us to call him an NPC. You know how like he called Baro a donkey. <laughs> Whoa, the puppet master, but like the effect are like with the water too now instead of the strings. The visual effects are pretty creative. It's pretty cool too. That's one of the things I like about these like unrealistic sports animes, like Kuroko Basket for example. All these like super cool effects. He's got everything. Yep. Yeah, he's got everything. And the craziest thing is his brother, right? It's not a can I. You, you gotta do it. But the craziest thing again is Rin's brother is even more amazing than him, right? That's why he's doing all this. Rin's chasing after like a vengeance plot against his brother. <laughs> okay, Baro's been kind of quiet this entire time. Baro, what are you doing? Oh, he, let, he, let him cook. Let him cook. Baro's got something coming, dude. Oh. <laughs> What was that growl? <laughs> That's right, off the board. 
Off with the ball! You have the blind spot! There we go, there we go! Oh, it's complicated. I'm spinning around with that CGI, man. Direct shot. But Rin's there. How? Why were you there? Why are you there? How are you there? Because his vision is just as good. He's reading so much ahead. Remember, this guy is fucking two steps ahead. Yeah, how? I don't know. Because he's built this. Physically, he's stronger too. He's just better than us in every aspect. The fuck are we supposed to do? How do we beat him in a 1v1 then? What the fuck? Wait, that bar is no what? Yo, did he always have a lion like that? Take it, man. Finally, we let him cook for a little bit too long. Finally, he's popping off. Did he steamroll through Rin's imagination? A lion just like waiting for the perfect moment to pounce. Yo, what are you the best? I love this anime. Come on, Baro. Come on, Baro. Stealing from your teammate? He would have never thought about Baro stealing from his own teammate? Dude! One way to catch someone off guard is yeah. Come on, please. Come on, please. Kill this is why Baro is the GOAT! He's my GOAT! I love this guy, dude! I fucking love this guy. He outplayed him. But... It's like, fuck teamwork! Mr. Longbottom Lash? I mean, true, he does have the long lash. Yo, Baro is so attentive to detail when he makes, like, new nicknames. This is so cool for him, though. Will we get a high five, though? Will we get a high five, though? It's a one versus, like, fucking seven, dude. There's no 4v4 going on here. Baro doesn't care. But like, come on. Just like a high five or something. Yeah, you, you can't. How do you predict the guy that literally doesn't even play with the same rules? <laughs> so we're going to say, fuck teamwork. I'm going to steal from Baro next time. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, maybe next time it won't happen again. But... Dribble trick time. I, I don't know. Holy shit. What the, the f Okay. Why are you there? I, I don't know. This is some next level defense going on. Multiple 2v1s fake outs. Dribble King. Dribble King. Maybe this is still part of the plan. Why is Baro there? Okay. Were we planning this together? Really? Baro actually worked together? Or maybe he just took the chance, like the opportunity presented itself. Baro two in a row? Two in a row, maybe? Oh yeah, that's his new thing, right? It's like chopping, just like straight, just hard cuts. Why are you there, man? What were, I, I'm just... I, I, they just fucking appear out of nowhere. Baro is the key, the anomaly that will work in our favor because he's so unpredictable. That's how we're gonna win. Yeah, you can, but like... Oh, wait, what? Bachi, you're kind of getting left behind in the dust, man. Bro, you're admiring them too much. Where's... What? You're getting left behind. They don't even see you anymore. Can you inhabit that too? Oh shit. We're getting a we're we're getting a moment for Bachira, like how Bar was like, I wasn't the king after all. No, come on! Believe in your monster! All you have to do is just run back and stop monologuing, you'll be with them again. Everybody is tired, so he's gonna change up the plan again because everybody's kinda getting tired. Okay, let's see. What? Hey, stop thinking and go play defense, man! What? What's different? The tank? The herbivore tank? Shit. Because like we just mentioned how everybody's running out of stamina, but he doesn't... He has all... He has all the gas still! Ah, oh, shit. Baro, come on! <laughs> 
<laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> oh, finally. We're actually getting a yellow card. I don't think this is happening uh, ever. Have we ever been carded in blue lock so far? I, I don't know, actually. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> What if he just scores it from this distance? Because, like, he's so good with the accuracy, right? I don't have a good feeling. I think he's just going to score. I This guy, you've seen how his, like, shot curves and arc is, man. Like, can you wall it to block it? I don't know. It's going to be a shot. I think it's going to be a shot. If he's a true striker, then he should... Chigiri? Look at this water effect, Chiggity! Yep, just as we expected. Of course he would shoot and score from that distance. Yeah, that water effect was kind of cool, though. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I didn't. I said shot every time. It was only one. Of course I'm going to score. But I'm still questioning, like... Bro, you gotta stop admiring them and step up to the plate yourself. This is getting so deep. For no reason. I love it when he starts monologuing about his past and his monsters. Like, what am I when they're just playing soccer? Oh, his eyes are glowing though. Highlight of the episode, no doubt, King Baro being the anomaly. This dude isn't playing 4v4, he's seeing 1v7. The fact that he would steal from Isaki was like, Rin's like, the fuck you would do that? Yeah, he would, because he's built diff now. I think Bachi is going to awaken and have his monster come out, and it's going to be some kind of super level play. We're down 4-3, but I think we're still going to win no matter what. Because right now, it doesn't make sense, story perspective, for us to lose again. But if we do win, who are we going to pick? That's going to be super interesting. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists to my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.